Good morning. It is 10.01 a.m. on a Monday. And uh, we're here in DY in North Sydney, somewhere in the northern beaches. A bit far from home, by the sound of it, you see. And um, I can't take too long in this intro, but because we've got a job to do. I'm going to have, have two morning, two afternoon jobs, and I'm going to take you through a little, um, not a day in the life, but a glimpse of a day in the life. So yeah, look, there's not much I can show from the customer's place, obviously, because you wouldn't want me recording in your home. But I've put my buzzer upstairs. Yeah, half the job is literally setting up the freaking guards, and then the rest is just doing the actual job. Actually pushed my pairs here, I think, as DPU 32, 32, please, I hope there's 31 over here somewhere, yep, that's 31, so the English one here. So this is what we call a cutover joint. It's brand new, it's got all the ports in it. I've got to speed up this job because it's supposed to be a, it's supposed to be a quick job because um, units are usually easy, especially for a cutting. It's not a fault job, it's actually just an install. So, I should get cracking on this one. Oh, wow. There's no way in hell I'm finding tone in this shit. Better hit up the MDF. Should have did that from the beginning, honestly, man. I've been a bit lazy. It's my first job, and I started late because I woke up late because I sleep in on a Sunday, and it stuffs up your sleeping pattern for a Monday. But that's life. I swear, people just like shut down when they see guards. It's literally, it has a pedestrian sign on it. Just walk around the freaking thing. Ow. Alrighty, this is a pretty big job lads, so the biggest, or well, an MBN technician's kryptonite really is Optus because these guys cut everything Telstra that is existing underground where we want to run the cable or get the service working and they use everything in the sky, aerial poles, so we've this, we've got this bloke with a, he's got a riser going to his house, so his house is on the right, I can't show you obviously, going to the pit here so we're going to have to open up that bad boy, unfortunately. Look at this shit. It's actually my worst nightmare. These guys, they get up all on your freaking shoes and shit. Alrighty, boys. It's time to go under the house. Unfortunately. Yeah, I think that's the Tesla cable right there. First time in my life the cavity is this close to the front of the house. I don't have to crawl like a commando all the way in. What is 
that? See that? Optus scabbing the toaster cable. That's already there. Turns out the DPU pit is actually right in front of the customer. And his leading should actually be here, or her leading. What did I say, mate? I don't want to sound like a big dummy, but the cutting is probably already done for this one if they identify the leading. If you are scared or you're hesitant to do stuff, jobs will take a long time. But if you identify an issue and you know how to solve it and you just get to it, like for example, you have to locate someone's underground cable. You have to go under the house. If you're scared of spiders and dust and all that shit, then, um, then yeah, it's going to take you ages. But if you just, if you just get to it, you get the job done in 15, 20, 30 minutes max. You, then you have time to, to sort out any other faults if there's a fibre fault or some shit. I thought it was going to be a big job, pole, aerial cable, this, that, but you know, sometimes it's just straightforward. Before I seal this uh, tupia here, I'm just going to double check it works inside just so I don't waste the decks. I'll show you what a decks is later. Very, very nice. Very, very interesting invention that does its job. Now, if she's the first customer on this, it might take 15 20 minutes to sync up, so we'll just go have a, a drink of water in the car, kick it, maybe watch some football highlights. If she's not the first customer, then it should be up and running instantaneously. So that's me testing. Anytime now, I should get a tick. Easy. And just like that. Straight out, I don't know how good uh, so far the footage has been. I mean, I don't do this every day. But the thing is, it's hard to record everything because not only do I need like both hands and I need my toolbox, but at the same time, I'm tight on time. So we're heading to Beacons Hill now, leaving DY. That's two jobs done. I'm gonna start my afternoons. And I might get some a muffin on the way or something, but I want to start these afternoons as soon as possible because it is gonna take me an hour to get home. And after 2.30 the school zone hits. So yeah, Beacons Hill, the cuttings are not underground. We're not gonna be opening up pits. We're gonna be uh, unloading the ladders off this tank or van. I'll call it a tank because it is a tank. Thank you very much. And we're gonna jump on the pole and cut in this man's service. So there you have it. I'm sorry I couldn't show you the last two jobs, but they were both on a freaking pole and I, I couldn't do it with, with the harness and all the tools and my tool bucket and, and the ladders. It was just too much. So I might put up some photos, but I doubt it. It'll make the video a bit tacky. So we're just gonna stick with what we have and uh, I'm on my way home, Navigator says 40 minutes unfortunately, and I've been driving for 20, so yeah, why don't we just enjoy some sunset footage. Wagwan, peace.